love those clips in the star. Well, hey, move over, Linda Carter. There is a new Wonder Woman in town. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Israeli model and actress Gal Gadot will take over the role of Wonder Woman in an upcoming, the upcoming movie, Batman vs. Superman. But the choice has uh, a few people scratching their heads. Uh, and here's the question to you. Do, do you think they got it right here? Here's what you guys are saying online. Regina Carpinelli on Twitter wrote this. Uh, all I know is, hashtag Wonder Woman, is supposed to have a jazzer-sized body and blue eyes. Gal Gadot's a stick. Megan Sacone Frazier wrote, not meant to body shame here, not to meant to be body shaming, but Wonder Woman is an Amazon, not a model. Am I alone in wanting a more athletic hero? And then Joe posted this. Gal Gadot is perfect for Wonder Woman when she bulks up and eats a sandwich. Tough crowd out there. Let's see what... Uh, our man, John Murray, has to say about this. Uh, Editor-in-chief, alwaysalist.com. Rocking the lavender today. You're looking good. What do you think? Thank you, Mike. Gal Gadot, thumbs up or down? Well, Mike, you know, I hate, I hate these type of stories because I hate when people <laughs> get mad about the casting. I mean, how many times have we talked about the casting choices for Fifty Shades of Grey? We talked about Ben Affleck as Batman. People were mad about uh, Zoe Saldana as Nina Simone. It's like you never know what an actor or an actress can do until you actually give them a shot. We always get mad before we see the final product. What do you think of the... And, and the undercurrent here is a little more serious because it's kind of the, you know, body... Uh, and some, you know, body shaming or just the whole look. Is she too thin? Is she too frail? You see all that online. She needs to be stronger, not as frail. What do you think about all that in that conversation, which really is a bigger one? I mean, whoever thought that people in Hollywood would be complaining about somebody being too thin for a movie <laughs> role? I mean, everybody in Hollywood is eating Twix, sticks and twigs and things. They're starving themselves to be thin. Nobody, I mean, they used to call Jennifer Hudson full-figured, and if she went down south, they'd be trying to feed her steak and potatoes and things and fatten her up. I mean, you can never get it right in Hollywood. The, the idea that this woman, and the real thing, let's, let's call it a spade a spade, Mike. They say she should have bigger breasts. That's what everyone's mad about. They said Linda Carter had a nice bosom, and this woman doesn't have any. But come on, it's Hollywood, people. They'll stuff her bra. That's why we have you on. You're telling the truth in all of this, and you really nailed the point there is, since when in Hollywood are you complaining about somebody maybe too thin in all of this? Hey, John, we want to get your comment on this. Uh, and we've got another wo Wonder Woman to, in in to invoke into this story. Our own producer, Hana. J John, check this out. You're going to love it. And we'll see. Maybe she'll get your vote. Let's watch it. How about that, John Murray? complete with the spin and the transformation. We pull no punches here on HLN oh. News Now. What do you think? I think I'm thinking Hannah's got a stake in this. C cast her, Mike. Come on, let's call Hollywood. See, all the real talent in Hollywood is here on HLN. That's it. Hey, again, we're pulling no stops here. And by the way, uh, tweet me at Mike Alanos, HLN, hashtag it Wonder Woman to let us know. Gal Gadot, maybe you're still harking back for Linda Carter. Maybe you want Hana in there. She's looking good with the spin, and she really, uh, the, the, kind of a pseudo dance move in the midst of that as well. We'll take your calls on it as well. one eight seven seven tell hln by the way. More props for Hana. Look at her and the transformation. Voila! And it's Wonder Woman. Look at that, and she's ready to solve crime. John's going to help me out here. We're going to take your calls in a little bit. one eight seven seven tell hln And John's on this one. Beyond, you know, the fun we're having with whether or not it should be Hana or Gal Gadot, but just whole thing about the body image, the undercurrent of that as well. So again, John, we'll chat in just a little bit. You know the number, open mic at one 877 tell is the number. Here's a tweet coming to us from Melanie. That this new model is too skinny for Wonder Woman. She's going to make girls think they have to be skinny. Linda Carter had some curves. Melanie, good tweet there. Let's get a call in. Ian's with us in Florida. Ian, Gal Gadot, good pick or not? I think she's a great pick. Talk to me. Why? Uh, I mean, it, she auditioned for a movie, and like John said, uh, you know, it's Hollywood, and I mean, they can doll her up to look how they want, really. And uh, if she didn't do a great job at auditioning, she would have gotten a part. There you go. A uh, very pretty lady. Deserves the pot, part, according to Ian. Ian, thanks. Let's get another call in. Daphne in Texas. Daphne, what do you think? Yeah. Hey. Please. I'm here. Well, do you like the uh, casting of Gal Gadot or not? Not 
Not really. Yes. I feel I, there's only one person that could play this part. Who's and that? That is Megan Fox. Ooh, and you say it She's with got conviction. A perfect face, perfect blue eyes. She's already known. She'd be perfect in all the publicity. Her body is perfect if she's not pregnant. <laughs> there you go. And she's an actionist. She knows this poor child, if she jumps over a mountain, the wind may keep her going. There's... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Daphne, good way to wrap it up. We have our own Wonder Woman, again, our producer, Hannah, playing a dual role here. What do you think about the whole discussion about whether or not Gaul is, is too skinny? And, and the, the, you, know, the, you know, and we've had a lot of tweets that we want a stronger woman out there, more of a jazzercise body, someone who works out a little bit more. First of all, may, like big points for using the word jazzercise. Love it. Haven't heard that since the <laughs> early 90s. I know you're right. Jazzercise. <laughs> um, well, you know, I think woman's body is important, but I think that she is athletic. She's in other action movies before, Fast and the Furious. Yep, that's right. She did a Tom um, Cruise movie, so I think she'll do a good job. We'll have to... I'm with John here. You know, the producers get paid a big bucks to make this decision, man. Yeah, let him, let him reiterate your thoughts on this. If you, you've heard a chance to... had a chance to hear from some folks, John, what do you think? You still think, hey, Gaul's a good pick here. I mean, you know, like, give the woman a shot. I mean, if you want to throw out some other names just for conversation's sake, I think Sada Ramirez, she plays Dr. Callie on Grey's Anatomy. Uh, I think she would have been good. She's got the mm. dark hair. She's got the fuller figure. She's got a nice, you know, set of, you know, the, the Linda Carter uh, blessings. There you uh, go. She, she could have done good <laughs> in the role. Well, way to weave yourself out of that one. Nice job. <laughs> you, saw, you saw I was going down the wrong street. I know. I, I love it. Turn, You're in a corner and out. Uh, you use that little rope there that uh, Wonder Woman has to get the out lasso. of that one. The, the lasso. lasso you lassoed your way out of that one. Hey, one more time. Let's watch the transformation. This is oh, you, Hannah, okay. mild-mannered producer, turning in to Wonder Woman. Let's watch it. <laughs> With the music, even. <laughs> I love it. Hannah, did you feel empowered? Look at that. I did. We have too much fun. We do. I know. We're stealing <laughs> we money, aren't we? <laughs> All right, again, thanks to Wonder Woman, Hannah, John Murray, you at home. We love taking your calls. I'll take more in the next hour. 1-877-TELL-HLN is the number. Stay with us. More news now coming up.